Welcome back, my friends. This is Finnewin, and we are playing Subnautica. I've done a little base building, not a lot. I just added uh, some, I added another level here and some reinforcements. This actually, these reinforcements increase my base integrity. So that's done. I do have a few more spots I can add. And then this is going to be my living quarters, and that's going to be the planting room. And I might add more onto it later, but for now, I'm done. And we are going to go exploring. So the reef, I want to go to the Grand Reef or the Great Reef or whatever it's called. It's over this way. There's some wreckage over here that I want to try to get to. So let's head over to pod 17. What I'm hoping is, is that I'll find the mobile vehicle bay. I really need that. <laughs> and to build my sea moth. I'm ready to build the sea moth and head to the Aurora. I don't go to the Aurora until I have a sea moth. So let's see what we can find. So there's pod 17. And there's a wreckage out here somewhere too I need to find. Because it's got some stuff to scan in it. But let's do this pod. So there we've got another sea moth fragment. Which I've already got the sea moth, but I'll take the materials. Thank you. And let's head in here and see what we've got. So we've just got a PDA. No, no technology here. All right. Oh, there's the wreck. That's what I was looking for. Oh, hello. Get away from me. Let's go up and grab some air. I love that view, so I'm going to take a screenshot. The view of going up for air. Okay, let's head on down. So, hopefully I don't need any wire. I don't think I need cutters to get into this because the opening's right in the side. So let's see what we can find in here. I'm really hopeful for mobile vehicle base. That, it's, a, oh, there it is. Yay. Oh, what? I already had one piece. Shoot. I hate when it does that, I swear. Has anybody else who plays this noticed that? But sometimes you scan something, it's like it doesn't register, it doesn't acknowledge that you scanned it, and you go to scan another piece of it later, and still suit, take that. And then another mobile vehicle bay piece. That's two. Still suit. Yay, I've got the still suit. That makes me happy. I thought this was bigger in here. Oh. I could have swore that. Huh. Okay, well, that's it. That's small. I could have swore it was bigger in there. Man, I still need one more piece for that mobile vehicle bay. I was hoping to find... I thought I already had a piece. I was pretty sure I already had a piece. But apparently not. And the inside of this... I swore this went down further. Like it went over and then there was a breakage here and it goes down and... Oh, hey! It is! Ah, I might still find my piece. Okay. Let's see what we find in here. Mobile vehicle bay, battery piece, battery charger. I can now charge my batteries. That's good because I'm out of batteries. And I don't like making a ton of batteries. You'll end up finding a whole bunch of batteries in the Aurora. There we go. Floodlight, scan. I need to get out of here soon. I'm just hoping for that last mobile vehicle bay fragment and it's not looking good. Nope, no mobile vehicle bay fragment. I get lost in here a lot. Unfortunately, see, I'm... Not should say that little corner always gets me. Where's the door? There's something to scan in here. Where? Where's? Oh, shoot, shoot, go, go, go. We'll make it. And then I'll scan that one item I missed, which is probably just another still suit piece. Okay, down we go. So this way, and this way, and then that way. Yep, still suit. That's what I thought. Just gonna make sure I didn't miss anything, because I'm really wishing that that mobile vehicle bay fragment was in here, but we're gonna have to go find it somewhere else. What's that back there? <gasps> That's a mobile vehicle bay fragment. <gasps> yes! I've got it! We can go... Oh, oh, I hear you, but I don't see you. That scared me. Okay, let's get out of here. So we are done. We have the mobile vehicle bay. That's what I was hoping to find. And let's head back to the base. I am so excited. We can now build the Seamoth and head for the Aurora. Okay, so... So today's episode will probably be... Let's go ahead and explore while we're out here, though. Because we might find some more useful stuff. I'd love to go start looking for Seamoth fragment... Or, uh... Not Seamoth, the uh, big one. The submarine. 
keep hoping to find some of those. I'll take that. Thank you. Nope. Come here. Is there anything useful down here? I don't see anything. I got something chasing me. Hello. Hi. Goodbye. Oh, we've got a message. So let's head back, shall we? There's my pod over there. While we're heading back, we'll keep an eye out down here. For anything scannable. Can always use more materials. Because I tend to go through a lot with my base building. Glass is a thing. Running out of glass is a big thing. One of the things I do for glass, if you need it, is wait till night and then go out and look for the crystals. Because they glow. You'll find them really easy. During the day, they're really hard to find. I'm trying to remember if I have this if I have the stuff yet to build. Let me check. Hold on. Um, do I have the stuff to nope, this one. Do I have the stuff to build a bio power? Yes. So bioreactor. Okay, so we're gonna build that today too. So we'll get some building done in this episode. I'm gonna set up my garden area, get all my plants planted. Let's see what our message is. Aurora, it's Sunday. Uh oh. We've made orders. Oh, Scans we got 40 minutes. So next episode we'll find that. Planet that's only rated hazardous. It's our best shot. We've sent you the coordinates. We'll be there in two days' time. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Okay. So that's good. Okay, so we've already been to pod 17, so I'm going to throw that into here, because here's where I'm storing my pods I've already been to. I've been to 3 and 17 so far. I'm going to go ahead and take these, because they're decoration. Let's go build stuff. And I'm going to need some water soon. Okay. Do I have a, Welcome turn the board, light off. Alright, so yeah, next episode we'll do the sunbeam. I'm not going to do it this episode because that takes some time. We're going to build in here. Let's head over. Okay, so I need to build a stairwell. And we're going to build our bio, ra uh, bio reactor. So we when we have our plants together... Oh, I need lubricant. Let me grab that real quick. I know I have some of that in here. I already sorted everything. So lubricant, I'll take that. And there we go. And I'm also going to throw a storage up here for putting excess plants in to just toss in there whenever they're ready. Hmm, where do I put it? I'll put it over here. glass for that, which I have again over here. Alright. Well, let's go get the plant room fixed up. Nope. Stop it. Ah, it makes my mouse go all weird. Stop it. Nope. <laughs> That's frustrating. Okay, I'm gonna put those two things in here. And what do I need right now? So, in order to... I want to build a battery thing, but that's going to take a minute. I should go ahead and build it. But, what I really want to build is my thingy. So, let's see. Mobile vehicle base. So, titanium, egan, lubricant, and a power cell. Power cells are made from batteries, which I have dead ones for. So, that's a little trick. If you guys need to build the power cell, build it from dead batteries. You don't need full charge batteries to build it. Okay, so let's, um, it was lubricant, wasn't it? Ah, it was titanium, that's right. I need an ingot, which is ten of these. So one, two, four, six, eight, seven, nine, ten. Let's go make our ingot. So we need the titanium ingot, lubricant, and what else? And a power cell. So let's look at power cell. So it's power cell, silicone rubber, which I have. Right here. Silicone rubber. So let's make that. Power cell. 
And then lubricant. I need more lubricant, so I need some seeds. So we'll go out this way. It's just I need to stockpile a little bit of lubricant, so I'm going to grab a few here. So one. Come on. Come on. Pick them up. There we go. That way I can have some extra lubricant when I need it. Oh, I hear you. I don't want to play. <laughs> I can kill those guys, but I don't like to. I don't want to fight with them right now. Okay, so let's go make our lubricant. So you'll notice my power level's up, but it's not gaining power. So the one little solar panel is trying to fill that bio thing up. So I probably ought to go get the plant started real quick, just so I have those out of the way. But I'm going to build this. Okay, so deployable mobile vehicle bay. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. So we can get that Seamoth built. Okay, so I'm going to build some planners real quick, and then we'll go deploy that and see what we need to build our Seamoth. Okay, so... Planters. I don't do big ones. I don't like the indoor planters. They take up way too much room. So what I end up doing is this. Because all of my plants will fit in these. Okay, let's throw some plants down. I want to get some stuff to toss in. So I need one of these. And I need one of these. And the potato, potato, that one. The rest of these are decorative plants that I picked up. So I did one thing different in this playthrough than I did in the previous. And that is, let's plant that one there. That is the, this time when I went to the floating island, I got uh, all the plants and not just some of them. So we'll throw that there. And we'll throw the potatoes there. And that leaves me this one, which I'll figure out later. And let's grab some food. So I grab three, kill one, replant. All right, so let's eat up. And then whatever's left, I'll throw in that machine. Get some power generation going. There we go. So it'll fill up. It's active. That'll start filling up. There we go. And we're now creating power. Okay, so let's go deploy our mobile vehicle bay, which I think ends up pointed that way. So I'm going to put it out right about here. I don't want to drop it. So I've got to do this. Deploy. Put that back in position one. And let's see how much it's going to take. Nope. Climb. Let's see what it's going to take to build our Seamoth. Titanium ingot, another power cell, and two glass. That's simple enough. And you know what? We've got some signals to go pick up, so let's go grab those real quick. I'm just going to grab those signals real quick. I don't think there's anything coming from the guys coming in, so we'll be right back. Okay, so I grabbed the new signal. We've got a new life pod that we're looking at, and that's life pod number 12, which is over that way, and it's pretty deep. So I'm going to store that one. Ugh, lag. I'm going to store that one in here and grab a different one. Let's grab life pod 6. So 12 is going away. 6 is our new 12. I'm going to throw all these in here. Okay, so what did I need to make? Oh, it was um, titanium ingot, so I had to have a power cell. So, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then for a power cell, we got to make batteries. Shoot, do I have enough copper? Um, yeah, I've got enough to make two. So I'm going to do that real quick. We'll grab some mushrooms from outside. Oh, I probably ought to... You know what? I'm being a dork. No! I don't know what I'm doing! Alright, let's see. I need mushrooms. Here's some. One, two, three, four. Alright, so I'm going to make two batteries. I'm going to make my titanium ingot. A 
I'm back. There was somebody at the door, so I had to get up for a moment. Okay, so we're gonna make a battery. And I think I've already got, you know what, I'm gonna be smart here. So that's at 17, uh, let's swap that out for the 100%. And then we'll use the battery that was almost drained for our big battery. Oh, silicone rubber. I am so excited, we're gonna get a Seamoth. Okay, so, big battery, and let's go build that Seamoth. Where are you? There you are. I gotta be careful I don't pick it up. I'm gonna climb on it, not pick it up. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm missing glass, shoot. Got some already made, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, two glass. Yay, I'm excited. So next episode, we'll probably head over to the island to watch that event over there. And then we'll head into the Aurora because there's stuff on the Aurora I want to get and some technology on there I want to grab. Okay. Sea moth. Oh. Okay. We have a sea moth. All right. You know, the one thing I dislike about the sea moth, though, is that it... I'm going to park it over here for now. Is that it... Uh, when you restart your game after loading, the lights are on. So you're draining your battery. So remember that whenever you're playing to get out of your sea moth... Or go get in your sea moth when you start a game and turn off the lights. All right, do we have any material we can start throwing into, I think? I don't think these are ready yet. Okay. I'm going to start throwing it into our power generation because I'm pretty sure it's probably going through that stuff pretty quick. Okay, what do we got in our inventory here? Okay, so we built that. What am I missing? What do I want to build now? I do want to build a communication relay over here, but I really want to build a power charger. It's so copper wire glass. I need to go farm a bunch of stuff. Ugh. So much to do. You know, I think I might in the episode here because we did go explore. We grabbed some, grabbed some stuff. We've got a sea moth. The base, we've got our food started. Um, I've got my power generation started. The base is reinforced. This is where my moon pool is going to be eventually. And I've got a whole bunch of farming to do between now and when we need to go out to that island. And I doubt you guys want to sit and watch me do a bunch of farming. Let's see what we're doing in here bad we're doing okay so yeah i think we'll call it quits here i hope you guys have enjoyed the episode please do like comment and subscribe become a finny today and i will see you guys next time bye everybody